Hello, this is your Associate Pastor, Father Michael Lampe, coming to you with another video reflection. I'd like to reflect today on our readings for the day, today being Tuesday, March 31st. If we look at our readings, the first one from the Book of Numbers and our Gospel passage from the Gospel according to John, if you read through those and pray with it, you can go ahead and pause this reflection if you would like and do that. And if you did that, then um, you might notice there's something in common with both of these readings. They both talk about um, something being lifted up and then faith and that leading to life. If we look at our first reading where it talks about Moses in the desert where um, the people are complaining. If you notice a lot of times uh, the Israelites in the desert, they are complaining and then um, we hear what happens as a result of their complaints. And in order to help them to recognize their sinfulness, God allows them to suffer a little bit more and experience um, these seraph serpents who have these fiery bites that are uh, painful and actually putting some of the people to death. This um, medicinal punishment uh, to help prompt them to repentance um, when they ask Moses to pray on their behalf, uh, what ends up happening is God tells Moses to make a bronze serpent, to put it on a pole, and then anyone who looks at that bronze serpent after being bitten would live. They would recover. Now, in all honesty, looking at a bronze serpent isn't going to change one's medical condition. But the faith of the person who looks upon it, the person who looks at that bronze serpent, believing that God keeps his promises, through their faith, God will grant his grace to bring about the healing power. But the bronze serpent itself doesn't have any power. But this is a precursor or a prefigurement, a preparation for what is later to come. And we see that being referenced in our gospel passage from John. Jesus says that when he is lifted up, then they will know that he is I am. Now I put that in quotation marks because that's the divine name I am. So when Moses asked God what to tell the Israelites was his name, what's God's name, who is it that sent him, God through the burning bush says to Moses, Tell them, I am sent you. So he's identifying himself by that name, I am. And so if it's the great I am that led Moses out of the desert and brought all the Israelites with him, if it's the great I am who did all of the plagues and all of the miracles that the people of Israel experienced in the desert and throughout their relationship with God, then when Jesus says, I am, Jesus is saying that he is that same God. He is the great I am. So Jesus is identifying himself as God, and he's saying when he is lifted up, then people will know that he is God. And so when we look upon Jesus on the cross, even if it's just a representation, if we look upon that with faith, believing what Jesus had said, that he truly is God, a God who loves us, a God who draws us to himself. And if we seek out his grace, which is guaranteed in the sacraments, uh, and we're living this sacramental life, this spiritual life of love in relationship with God, then we too will have life. But not just earthly life. Jesus is more concerned about our eternal life, our eternal salvation. And so it's eternal life that can be gained for us when we look upon him on the cross. One of the very uh, fun things about um, this uh, situation, about Jesus saying this, that when you look upon him, you will know that he is the great I am, we find that in fulfillment actually in sacred scripture. Because when the soldier thrusts the lance into the heart of Jesus, and he has the blood and water pour upon him, he declares, this truly is the Son of God. He became faithful. He gazed upon Jesus there on the cross, and he was instantly converted. 
And so that's a fulfillment of what Jesus tells us in our gospel passage today, that when we look upon him, we, we will have faith. We will know that he is the great I am. And so if we do look upon him with faith, then, um, and we live a life of grace, receiving it in the sacraments, we can have eternal life. And that's, of course, prefigured by what happened in our first reading today, when those who looked upon the bronze serpent with faith were saved from death, which would have come from being bitten by the fiery serpents. And so we who are suffering in this time of national emergency, we need to be careful not to complain, but to look upon Christ on the cross with faith, to believe in his promises, and to follow him, and to receive the grace that he has to offer us. So let's go ahead and think of a way, a way today, tomorrow, this week, that we can better seek out that grace. Maybe it's by spending some time just gazing upon in a representation of Christ on the cross, looking at a crucifix and pondering the mystery of his love, the, the amount he suffered as a sign of that love for us and the grace that he won for us. Maybe it's by making use of the sacrament of reconciliation and receiving that, that same mercy, that same love that Christ poured out upon the cross, allow that to be poured upon us through that blessed sacrament. Um, and we can think of other ways to encounter the Lord and to receive his grace as well. So let's think of at least one of those that we can do and then uh, make a plan to go ahead and do it. So thank you for joining me for another video reflection. Uh, keep in mind that myself, the other priests, um, we are continuing to pray for you to intercede on your behalf, just like Moses in the desert was interceding on behalf of the Israelites. God bless.